Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to a special edition of the Sit Rep. I got a whole bunch of random models in front of me from eras all over the place, which can only mean one thing, it's time for the Brickmania Vault. All right, so like I said, we got a whole bunch of models from a whole bunch of different eras. We've got minifigs, we've got everything, so we'll just kind of start wherever we feel like starting, which is with this one in the front here, the Hercules. Um, so the reason I'm choosing to start with this is because I like to showcase the very unique short-run models that we get here in the vault. I should, I should clarify as well, um, the vault drops tomorrow at 8 a.m. on BrickMania.com, includes all of this and more. Uh, we just like to do a little preview video on Wednesdays to give people a little bit of an inkling on what's going to be around the corner and highlight some of the unique stuff uh, that we have in here. As goes for normal with the vault, um, there's only going to be one of each of the models put in there. Some of the minifigs will have a little bit quantity ahead of one, but most of uh, the items that go in there will be just one available. Um, so make sure you know that when you see that coming there at 8 a.m. on Thursday that you got to act quick to be able to get it. And I'm sure the Hercules will be no exception. Um, so this is a very unique model, as you can tell. A definitely an incredibly complex design. I won't move it around too terribly much, but if you check out the designer studio, uh, you will learn that all of this does actually function quite smoothly uh, you just need to know exactly how to do it which well I don't so I'm not gonna mess with it but there are some cool stuff that you can do with that it does include the minifigure here as well that comes with it definitely a unique one some people who know what they're looking at a lot will recognize some some intricacies within the face art which is awesome um, but definitely a very unique build and one of those things that only got a run of 50 kits in its in its initial run I don't know if it ever even restocked after that uh, and so now it is in the vault which means that it is not going to be returning, which means if this is something that, uh, you know, is important to you or is usually models like this, you know, they're for somebody who either served on it, worked with it, worked on it, some degree, things this specific, they usually have a personal connection to the build, especially if you're going to invest what you have to invest to be able to get it. Um, and so it's cool that we are able to do these every once in a while. Obviously, you don't run a business building one-off models for only a few people here and there uh, that are interested in them, but still cool to see these being showcased. Um, and I think the hats, the one right next to it here, is a good example of that as well. I'll try to move this out of the way for our camera there. Uh, it does include this minifigure here, kind of the, the old school style of, uh, of those minifigures as well. But these kits are from a while ago already. So both of these would work well together to, uh, you know, tow your Abrams off to, off to safety, get it off to where it needs to be repaired. Um, so these kits did release kind of together when they were brand new initially. Um, I love the cab design on this one. It's just got a lot of angles coming together in order to make it look the way it should. And then it's got some nice printing and a very, very easily removable roof, right? Like who doesn't love that for accessing minifigures and whatnot? That's, that's excellent. Uh, you do have the ropes and levers on the back here. So you were able to do some mock creation if that's what you want to do with it. Looks like the there we go, door was open there. So some, some interesting stuff when it comes to uh, very specific interests in related to that. Um, moving on kind of from the modern era, I suppose let's jump to the obvious one here that hasn't been back in a really long time, and that is the F-14 Tomcat. This is 100% guaranteed to be the last Tomcat ever available in this form on Brickmania.com. Just saying, because this, I'm not even sure where we got this from. I had to go check to make sure it wasn't the GHQ's copy and that we were selling like Dan's personal build. So I really don't know where this came back from store-wise, but Lucky for you guys, it's hitting the vault. Yeah, Top Gun coming out this year. Is there a better, uh, is there a better time to bring back the final F-14? This is a, a wicked sweet build, especially for the time that it was created in. Um, should mention it does include that stand as well. This is the, the extra missiles add-on pack. Or maybe this is what it came with and the add-on pack is on there. I'm not 100% sure. It's an, definitely an older kit when it comes to that. But it's all stickered up and beautiful. It's got its functions from what we can tell. Uh, everything is in its place as it should be. Does include two of these old school pilots with some, some wicked 3D printed headgear too. Maybe I'll just put them, put them in front here. So flip one, one front, one back so you can get a, a check out that vintage artwork at this point. I mean, that's, that's what I'd pretty much consider it because um, you can see on the new Top Gun stuff, we've got some updated flight suits for those pretty much across the board. Not to mention uh, the perfections in 3D printing that have been able to make those helmets a little less green uh, in, their, in their composition. But this is a cool model, a very, very unique addition to the vault, just because you would have thought that they would have already hit the vault already, all of them. But clearly they didn't. And here it is, the, uh, the F-14 Tomcat also back and uh, ready to hit the vault. So I suppose continuing with the, with legacy jets being retired, let's move over to the F-22 here. I'll try to swap these out for the sake of table space. Should we do the international relations? 
Yeah, you know, the finger. <laughs> but yeah, the F-22, that obviously incredibly iconic shape, does include the, uh, the minifigure stowed in here as well. And the stand and all the play functions, not to mention the wicked gigantic surface area that this model takes up because of its, uh, the wingspan. But it's just sweet. I mean, it's a Raptor. How cool is that? Let's open up these doors down here. Yeah, internal payload. See, everything's where it's supposed to be. You know, half the fun of getting this vault stuff is, is seeing all the everything that was displayed on these older models. Finally, let's, let's jump way back in era because this was kind of a cool addition. I think this is the first one of these to hit the vault. This is the flying wing we had for Wunderwaf, um, which, is, which is a crazy, crazy cool. Let's see if I can do the same thing Andreas did. I'm not gonna do it because you know, he, he built this, I didn't, or Andrea, I suppose, I believe the one was who actually built this, but I could be wrong. We're kind of just winging this thing here. So, but it's got some cool details on it. A very interesting composition, uh, definitely a solid build. Look at how flat it is. That's just crazy. That minifigure literally has to lay down to get in there. Um, and speaking of minifigs, this is like, when it comes to World War II German pilots, like find me a weirder looking minifig. I'd like to see it because this is, this is like halfway to space suit that this guy, this guy is wearing here, which makes sense given the technological advancements that they were making when it comes to jet powered aircraft at the time. So they probably had to up their game flight suit wise as well, but just kind of crazy to see something that, you know, looks like a, a little spaceman piloting a, uh, a, a wing like this. And then moving on to our final kit, and this was the one that I know some people were a little surprised to see, but we already moved on. We did the gunship version, and so that means that the older version of the new Huey, the older new Huey, the new old, the old new, this Huey is now retired and in the vault and does come with this awesome little crew here as well. Check out some of the UV printing on these incredible custom created helmets. Flip this guy around so you can see old glory on the back there as well. So it does include this crew of four along with all, along with all the brick arms printed elements, opening doors, other features that you see here as well. Pretty much everything we're showcasing and that you see online is going to be packed up. Not to mention the fact that we've also got some store cards, we've got the certificates that Dan signs, all that kind of fun stuff will be included in these builds. So definitely worth it if this is on your absolute must have lift. That's what the vault is, right? I mean, the vault is your last chance. If it's something you missed out on and you absolutely got to have it in your collection, you got one last chance to do so. And the same thing goes for minifigs. As we get further into our vault collections here, we're, we're, we're getting into even rarer and more interesting minifigs and then some that have been completely kit exclusive and some that have not been back for a while. So you'll notice we've even got things like mystery crate minifigs being broken out and, and featured in here. Um, and then obviously standalone figures from their previous kits like with Rommel here um, or with uh, the 82nd Airborne, you know, the, the figures that just have not been around for a you know, very, very long time. Crewmen, from various uh, kits as well. And you'll notice too that we're, we're starting to roll out our standalone uh, custom printed headwear, but none of it yet because of the room that we have in UV is being used, is being printed on basically. We haven't done the shift in departments yet. So all the standalone 3D elements that we've been releasing are unprinted. That means that if you wanna get your hands on standalone figures featuring custom printed 3D elements, your only option for now is either the brand new figures coming off the line or legacy figures here in the vault. So that's what we're making these options available for. In some cases, we're splitting them up so that you can get your hands on individual ones, breaking out the crew. In other situations, like this one, we're putting them in a full-on crew pack. So this, believe it or not, is just the figures from the Hollywood add-on. So that's what we decided to do. We took all five figures from this pack, mixed them into this bigger clamshell, and now you'll be able to buy just the figures from the Hollywood add-on pack available in the BKM vault. So if that has been, you've got your own Sherman maybe, well now you can crew it with officially printed minifigures because obviously we do have the tanker sticker minifigs available online, but then you gotta use your own figures. If you want the Brickmania printing, if you want the actual figures from the crew pack, now you've got a chance to get it. However, that also means that because we've done full crew packs and the Hollywood add-on with the models itself, we're pretty much out of figures. So what you see is what you get when it comes to the availability of what's left for, for the Hollywood figures. Same goes for our little Blackhawk friends here. All of these guys, I don't actually have them set up on stand, so maybe we'll just check them out in the box themselves because that's how you'll actually be receiving them. So we just package them up in there with a the little uh, clamshell, put them in their little baggies, and then you obviously get a, an exclusive backing card to show that you purchased them from the BKM vault. 
But that's how those work. So there'll be a mixture of standalone minifigures and uh, um, crew packs available in the vault. I mean, is, if you guys haven't figured it out by now, we're kind of just winging this each month to figure out what we want to do collection-wise and how these figures comes together, etc. Um, so if you've got feedback for us, obviously feel free to drop it in the comments. Otherwise, we're just going to keep rolling because this stuff is cool and it doesn't do us any good having it sitting here in the uh, in the vault cave, let's say. So, uh, so we're getting ready to hit that up online and it'll drop tomorrow, 8 a.m. every Thursday, or the first Thursday of the month. Uh, is when we kick those out so make sure you're subscribed to our email to be able to check those out otherwise there's a link in the description that'll take you straight to the vault as well i'll be done talking now thank you very much for watching